What's up social media? This is Luke Getting with Puffingston Presentations. Just finished a really exciting week at uh, here in Austin at South by Southwest Interactive and wanted to share some highlights with you of, of my week. So let's dive in, shall we? So first things first, got to get the lanyard. That's me and my girlfriend, Mary Grace. And on to the sessions. The first one I saw was Bernie Sanders, one of the keynote addresses, and he was doing a kind of Q&A with Jake Tapper of CNN. And one of the cool things is we were actually able to submit questions in the audience through a tool called Slido. So you can actually see one of the questions there on the screen. And I'll talk a little bit more about that technology, but it's a really neat experience. So next I went to a session with Josh Baer of uh, Capital Factory. That's a startup incubator here in Austin. And Josh is working on a really cool program to connect Austin with some of the other Texas cities, Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas, to kind of build this Texan startup community. So he's been doing some amazing things. If you're in Austin, definitely check out Capital Factory downtown. Next, uh, just a taste of some of the kind of random chaos that uh, South by Southwest offers. So this was just a smart car parade going right down 6th Street. You see one of them's in some random bubble. I have no idea why, but that's South by. Then this is the South by Southwest accelerator pitch. Okay, so basically what happens here is you've got 10 finalists for a variety of categories, and they are given two minutes to make that presentation uh, in front of judges. And so very high stakes obviously, a lot of pressure to get both your timing right and your visual aids correct and then after that you get a few minutes of Q&A and the finalists, there's three finalists chosen and uh, they get five minutes to do an encore presentation the following day. So these are really intense uh, presentation moments but great to see all these cool new technologies emerging. Alright, this is the big one that a lot of people have heard about. This is Elon Musk, so I did get a chance to see him. He was at the Moody Theater where ACL is uh, is recorded and again we're able to use Slido. I want to talk a little bit more about what that means uh, in this context. So basically this is just a one hour Q&A but with audience questions and so we're able to log into Slido using our phones and submit questions but not only that you can actually see questions other people have submitted and upvote them. So the top questions they've got 50, 60 upvotes and it's a great way to ensure that the best questions or at least the most popular questions are being addressed versus simply whoever runs and kind of shoves their way uh, into the microphone, which happens at a lot of conferences. So Slido is a great way to get that audience participation, kind of democratize the Q&A when you have an amazing speaker like Elon who's addressing questions. All right, now this is the igni oh, actually this is a design session that I saw and it was featured the head of design at Hulu, uh, Instagram, and Twitter, and they were talking about design and technology and how those two interact and, and how they drive them at those organizations that we all kind of interact with on a daily basis. So next we have this Ignite series and Brady Forrest puts these on. These happen all around the country. If you get a chance to check them out, I highly recommend it. Basically, you've got five minutes as a presenter and you're, you're allowed to have 20 slides and they're all put on a timer, a 15 second timer. So you basically just click play and then you give your presentation. So obviously it has to be well rehearsed and the audience, from an audience perspective it's amazing because you get these really high impact presentations, they're fast paced and you feel like you get a lot of content in that 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, one person I wanted to specifically call out, her name was Liz Dozier of Chicago Beyond and she was talking about some really incredible things that her and her team were able to do at the Chicago Public Schools, raising uh, graduation rates and lowering dropout rates, which is, which is really impactful. Okay, and then we had William Hurley, known as Worley, and uh, he talked about quantum computing. This is one of the Convergence keynotes. Uh, to be honest with you, it was pretty intense information. Uh, quantum computing is not my specialty. A lot of it went whew. But that's one of the really neat things about South by Southwest is you're able to check out these tracks that you otherwise uh, wouldn't necessarily in your kind of normal day-to-day -day career. So that was really interesting. He had some cool presentation slides to some uh, maintaining red and white throughout and doing some cool things with some creative GIFs. Uh, lastly, I was meeting with Miko. He's the director of business development at Prezi. There's us hanging out on uh, at the Van Zant Hotel here in Austin. And uh, yeah, talking about the future of presentations, what's going on with Prezi, and really just reflecting on all the amazing presentations we saw and how the visual aids in, in some cases really helped enhance the experience or in other cases with 
some uh, less than ideal slides, how they may have hurt the, the presentation. So always interesting to see so many presentations during the course of South by Southwest, all these amazing speakers coming right here to Austin from all around the world. So if you're thinking about coming in the future, I highly recommend it and certainly give me a shout. We can connect and uh, grab a beer and, and have a great time. So uh, that's what I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.